Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy, and today I'm talking about some of the basic principles of minimalism in medicine. Uh, for those of you who are just checking out this channel, I'm a naturopathic doctor and I'm based out of Los Angeles and I practice a form of medicine which is based on minimalism where we first try to create as simple and practical treatment programs as possible for the individual. I want to start by saying that the first rule of thumb when you are thinking about going to see a naturopathic doctor is that before we start bombarding people with massive amounts of uh, drugs and uh, herbs and whatnot is to first, number one, find the cause. You know, why is the person coming to see us? Uh, being a good listener, really trying to find out what has brought that person uh, to the office in the first place. And then the second uh, thing that I would say, and this is really across the board for anybody practicing medicine, whether they're a naturopathic doctor or any other type of doctor, is that we really want to remove the cause. Remove the cause of what is causing the person uh, distress or disease in the body. Uh, what is, we want to remove the cause of what is causing illness in the first place. So that is really uh, the heart and soul of minimalism in medicine. Sometimes simply removing the things that are making us sick are really all we need to do in order to see dramatic improvements in health. An example would be the person who's tired and exhausted because the cause is they don't sleep uh, adequately every night so we would focus on how to improve sleep in that in that individual because the cause of the fatigue is simply that they are not getting adequate sleep. Do they have sleep apnea? Are they consuming too much alcohol or caffeine? Is their bed too lumpy? <laughs> Those are some of the reasons why a person might be exhausted. It might be something as simple as the fact that they're simply not sleeping. Uh, another example of removing the cause might be somebody who is getting sick because they have a bad diet. Uh, they love eating junk food. So before we would put them on a strict diet, we would first want to remove the things in their diet that might be making them sick. So uh, switching to things like fruits and vegetables, of course, but removing those things which are toxic or uh, don't make them uh, feel very good. Probably top of the list, I would say, if you're talking about removing the cause, would be drugs and alcohol. One of the very first things I talk to people about when they come to my office, if they say they don't feel well, is uh, are they engaged in any activities uh, that involve drugs, alcohol, uh, tobacco, uh, recreational drug use. Those are top of the list. Uh, before we can start to look at something more comprehensive in terms of a treatment plan, we really want to make sure that the person that has come to our office is clean and sober, has, uh, is uh, not doing uh, uh, drugs, uh, recreational drugs, uh, excessive use of marijuana, uh, tobacco, uh, definitely a problem. Uh, drinking too much, more than one or two glasses of alcohol a day definitely would be something that I would want to talk to them about. And it's probably the first thing we start with. So removing the cause, talking to somebody about their work environment. Are they in a toxic work environment that's causing stress or anxiety? Are they in a toxic relationship that's causing them anxiety? Are they in a sick home? What is their home life like? Are we talking about a home where uh, there's a lot of mold or uh, lead-based paint? Then obviously that would have to be addressed. So that is the first thing that I would talk about when I talk about minimalism in medicine. First, identify the cause of why the person has come to see you in the first place. And secondly, remove the causes that are making the individual sick. Start, starting with number one, uh, talking to them about uh, drugs and alcohol. Uh, number two, talking about uh, toxic uh, 
food choices? Number three, did they get a good night's sleep? Number four, did they know how to uh, de-stress? Uh, are they able to relax uh, when they are in a stressful situation? Uh, number five, are they in a toxic work environment or are they on toxic relationships? Those are just the top five off the top of my head that I think about when I think about removing the causes. And we find often that when we remove those causes, much of health has been restored without the need to add anything else. Okay, I want to thank you for watching this very brief video. My name is Dr. Whimsy Anderson, and uh, if you'd like to find out more about my work, you can go to drwhimsy.com. I'll link it below. I see patients in my offices here in Los Angeles. Uh, again, I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I practice minimalism in medicine. If you'd like to get a general wellness coaching uh, session, uh, that's absolutely fine as well. You can do that by following the link below and clicking on the telemedicine option. Uh, I do see people uh, via, via the phone. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.